Welcome back to Maths with Mr. Duffield. I have uh, taken a look at one of my UF pieces of work. You haven't provided the answers for this, but I think you might potentially benefit from seeing how this works in a direct sort of um, teacher-led example. So this is a triangle, not right-angled, asked to work out the value of x, letter x for these two side lengths. Um, it's a cosine rule. It's a cosine rule because I've got all three side lengths I've got an angle, um, I have all the pieces that I need to form an, an equation in the cosine rule and solve it to work out what x is. So let's write this down. So the cosine rule is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Filling in everything from this triangle onto that formula, onto that uh, algebra that I've got there, a squared Oh, my window's just been blown open. A squared is uh, root 73 squared, or just 73. B is x plus 2 squared, plus C, 2x minus 3 squared, minus 2 times B, x plus 2, times C, 2x minus 3, cos A, the angle that I have in this triangle, you'll see, is 60. Now, a question that I did have was... Uh, we can effectively cancel out the 2 and the cos 60. Why is that the case? Well, cos 60 is 0 0.5. And if all of these are considered to be times together and they're next to each other, next to each other in this algebraic work, so yes, they can be considered to be multiplied, 2 is being multiplied by 0 0.5. That's effectively 1, or in other words, just the x plus 2, 2x two minus 3, um, as they are. So the 2 and the cos 60 can effectively be cancelled out there. So what am I doing? I am expanding x plus 2 and 2x minus 3 and subtracting the result of that quadratic from the expansions of x plus 2 and 2x minus 3, each having been squared. Let's give that a go. 73 equals x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 2x minus 3 squared. That's 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Okay, if you need to go back and look at FOIL expansion to expand uh, expressions like that, then that's something that I would recommend you should do. We're subtracting the expansion of x plus 2 times 2x minus 3 from that. That is 2x squared minus 3x plus 4x plus x minus 6. Okay, now, it's important that I leave the uh, the minus sign there. I can think of this as a bracket with the number negative 1 at the front of it. That's going to help things um, once it comes to simplifying this. But if I go to the next line of work, always simplifying, always collecting together everything that I can. 5x squared ooh, minus 8x plus 13. Okay, that's the uh, bunch of terms here all simplified. Now, the minus 1 applied to every term of this expansion makes minus 2x squared minus x plus 6 plus 6. Minus 1 times minus 6 plus 6. Let's keep going. That's um, 3x squared minus 9x plus 19 equals 73. If I take away 73 from both sides here, 19 take away 73, I'll get negative 54. So my, my final uh, quadratic here is 3x squared minus 9x minus 54 equals 0. I'm pretty sure all of these can be divided by 3. It makes x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0. Now, that having been simplified makes it easier to solve. And we should be able to see that it can solve by factorization. What are the two numbers that add together to make negative 3 and times together to make negative 18? Minus 6 and positive 3. So the solutions for this quadratic are 6 or minus 3. Let's look back at the original question here. I'm working out the value of x. 
So I want to make sure that whatever uh, x is, these side lengths end up being positive numbers, right? It makes sense for these lengths to be positive. Negative values for lengths don't really, that's not really something that exists. So when it comes to choosing which of these values I'm going to use, I'm going to use x equals 6. Negative values for x are not relevant to this question. Okay? So the value of x is 6. And if we're interested, we can sub that in. Uh, it's 8 centimeters to be one of the lengths of this. 2x minus 3, 12 minus 3, 9 centimeters is the other side length. And then, of course, my last side length of this triangle is the square root of 73. Just showing you what I wrote down there for a sec. That is the value of x found for that question. I hope that, that makes sense, having been brought through one step at a time. It takes time, it takes practice. Um, just relax and, and do the best that you can. I'll talk to you about a sign rule problem in a moment.